हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर द डिस्कशन ऑफ थर्ड मॉड्यूल ऑफ द यूनिट वन ऑफ द कोर्स क्रिमिनल जस्टिस एंड सोशल वर्क स्टूडेंट्स एज वी डिस्कस्ड इन द लास्ट मॉड्यूल अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्राइम एंड हाउ इट रिलेट्स टू सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स वट आर द डिफरेंट स्कूल्स ऑफ थाट्स पर टर्निंग टू क्रिमिनोलॉजी एट्सेट्रा continuing the discussion further in the next module we are now about to study the very concept philosophy and the perspectives that are changing pertaining to correctional services correctional services is another found fundamental and foundational aspect of uh, defining crime and socially deviant behavior so <clears throat> when we think about correctional services first of all we need to know what do we mean by correction and what kind of correction is being talked about so i just have a look at certain philosophical concepts regarding correctional services uh in this matter uh, for this particular course uh, we would like to i would like to highlight that the four special philosophies or schools of thoughts that are existing in terms of how we define the correctional services so or how we approach the correctional services for the uh, criminal justice uh, matters now <clears throat> a particular school of thought which is basically you can say a very old school of thought according to that philosophy correctional service means that the services maintained by the state government for proper management administration and functioning of correctional homes that is the first point and ultimately what is correction that we are coming to it we are coming to it what is correction ultimately what is correction in terms of criminal justice i always say that jail is not a punishment jail is a correction so when a particular uh, person after the due judicial process has been pronounced the judgment for serving the a certain term in a particular isolated setting called jail depending upon the uh, penal provisions of that particular law under which she has been prosecuted or she has been she has been prosecuted so they have they have to serve a term in jail now normally people understand by jail as that of punishment or a house of punishment which is actually not it is actually the house of correction you are given a period of time to correct yourself you are given a certain slot of your life to correct yourself and therefore there are so many correctional interventions with the permission of the jail authorities in jail everything happens your rehabilitation your reintegration with the society your training your development everything which a particular person who is serving the term in a jail requires gets thing gets gets and receives in the jail you might be aware that uh, first lady ips officer of the country Uh, was awarded for her uh, was awarded with the uh, uh, magsese award for her uh, path breaking initiatives that she has taken uh, being an I- ips officer during while she was posted in the tihar jail her name was kiran bedi so kiran dr kiran bedi is celebrated and well known for her correctional initiatives in the jail so what my point is that jail is a correctional setup so this is the concept of correction whenever you whenever somebody has shown some deviant behavior some abnormal behavior has been sent, sentenced to serve a term in a correctional house like jail etc and there are several other correctional houses that we will talk about briefly when they are serving the term in the particular correctional house then they get an opportunity to correct themselves that is the core idea of correction so that is the core idea of law also law is not to punish people law is to give them the opportunity to correct and these are the opportunities that you that the time that you spent in jail or other correctional homes to improve yourself so pertaining to these there are four or five important thoughts the second thought is services or programs of for offenders including their care and custody so another school of thought little bit extends the uh, concept of the correction setting and says ki not only run by the government and only actually uh, being being limited to management and administration and functioning of these correctional houses the correctional services also means to take care and custody of the offenders third school of thought third philosophy third concept goes to say that 
those services necessary for operation of a correctional facility which is similar to the thorton one including the provision of food clothing security programs and healthcare here they have also extended this particular uh, definition to security programs it means <clears throat> correctional service is that service which also takes care of your security matters if you are a offender and if you are facing the due legal process only for those who are facing the due legal process not for the people otherwise then there is another school of thought which even broadly which even further broadens the concept of uh, correctional service and says ki it basically aims at the reformation and rehabilitation of the offender so it's not just about taking care and custody it also goes further to take care of their reintegration with the mainstream society their rehabilitation in the mainstream society once they have served their term and of course administration management and functioning of the other uh, prisons and other correctional setups so this further school of thought which is the latest one which shows ki it actually goes up to after care follow up and the final reintegration and rehabilitation of people with the mainstream society now what are the types of correctional um, services the, the famous types as i already briefly mentioned jail is one type of correctional setup here an offender or the, the person who is serving the term gets the opportunity to correct himself or her herself uh, with the due supervision of the jailer and and other jail staff and in accordance with the provisions that are laid down in the prisons act or prisoners act act then children's homes and observation homes are another type of correctional settings which are temporary correctional settings observation homes people are kept maximum for a period of 4 to 6 months children's home is the relatively permanent setup but it is basically for only juvenile offenders and it is basically uh, for those who have been treated who have been sentenced under that particular law being a minor and they have committed some offense then they get they are treated differently they are not treated they are not given the opportunity uh, the way adults are actually given so for them there are very friendly kind of houses which are known as uh, children's home drop in shelters are basically the shelters just like you know if someone requires immediate help immediate correction immediate counseling or immediate some sort of uh, uh, intervention which is actually needed for uh, the uh, correction in the behavior then if it is just for momentary purposes for the time being purposes then there are certain houses uh, which do provide such uh, uh, such a facility which are not so popular in india but in western countries they are very much popular just like we go for a walk in interviews so anybody can go walk in attend the interview and can walk out similarly drop in shelters are anybody can be dropped depending upon the need and that need is decided by the legal authorities and the state authorities so maybe the jail authorities or any other correctional setting authorities they might sometime feel the need of special assistance to someone so for that matter they can just drop in the offender at some counseling center or somewhere according to the need of that particular offender and the person can receive momentary therapy or or relief or some sort of intervention can be done with that person and that person can be again allowed back to Uh, the normal setting normal correctional setting so that is the the concept called drop in shelters anybody in any kind of need can be just dropped in for a particular small period of time then detention centers are rather for those basically who uh, we need to detain and detaining means uh, it is a legal detention so basically uh, many people often confuse it with the rescue houses rescue houses is also kind of correctional services but rescue houses are only basically for those who are, who got stuck in some flood some natural calamity um, you know some drought prone area or otherwise uh, some man made uh, disaster uh, disastrous situation you know or even are the natural disasters like earth, earthquake wherever there is a need to rescue people Uh, suppose there are there is some attack on a cinema hall and you are watching a movie in the cinema hall so then uh, the law law enforcement agencies like police and all will intervene and rescue the people who were who are there who are stuck in that cinema hall just an example so rescue and so such people who are rescued from some emergency crisis situation when they are kept at a safer place for a particular period of time particular small period of time 
uh, very small short duration such houses are rescue houses which are so it should not be confused with the detention center detention centers you can have a longer stay people in conflict with law people in conflict with law of the land they are detained for some homeland uh, for, for for some uh, for, for for certain certain pur uh, purposes for example some people living out of the without the valid documents some people are living in some country so that country's law enforcement agencies have the full right to detain these people and to investigate about the people as to where have they come from etc right so those are the detention centers so all these are types of the correctional setups which uh, do call for certain correction in their behavior in the in the behaviors of the offenders normally offenders go to the correction correction houses now <clears throat> the most important thing is uh, the changing pers perspectives on correctional services we 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 understood that any service which actually makes an offender maybe a repeat offender or one one time offender who actually makes an offender correct his or her behavior in accordance with the laws of the society norms of the society laws of the land that all such services can be clubbed under correctional services that is point number 1 point number 2 uh, we we discussed several different concepts and philosophies several different schools of thoughts some schools of thoughts only talk about the management and administration of the correctional house so up and some of them go up to the aftercare reintegration uh, rehabilitation etc so that is point number 2 point number 3 we discussed about various types of correctional services and lastly to sum up this particular chapter i would like to highlight that what are the changing perspectives of uh, correctional services so basically when we were discussing the different philosophies it was a kind of discussion on changing perspective also but uh, those were different schools of thoughts of course they change with the change in the perspective but when we talk about change in the perspective in terms of uh, what has happened of late relatively permanent in the nature so that would basically require a discussion on uh, who all to be uh, to involve in this particular correctional services that is the changing perspective now initially <clears throat> the bottom line of this particular discussion is that initially this there was a perspective that these services are only required by the people who are habitual offenders or hardened criminals serving some terms after the due legal and judicial process that perspective is now getting changed and things are getting relaxed and now there is a broad idea and broad understanding that first of all we need to identify the abnormal behavior that is one perspective that is one change that has come into this thought process into various different schools of criminology that you need to identify the abnormal behavior the identification of abnormal behavior is also a kind of correctional service it's a new thought process that is emerging a new perspective that is coming into it then some people are also of the opinion some scholars that they say that identifying the degree of deviance from the normally expected behavior that is also part of correctional service it means not only just to identify to what extent you are deviated from the uh, socially acceptable behavior but also to what extent you are actually de deviated that knowing that extent and degree would also part would also be the part of the correctional service that is a new induction in that correctional service discourse then bringing back to pro social behavior pro social behavior means not only being normal not only being uh, the way the society wants you to be but at the same time do something good for society do some pro social get involved with some pro social activities for example if swachh bharat abhiyan is going on in in india you should be actively participating in that abhiyan you should be compliant not the deviant that is the thing so encouraging an in individual to perform pro social then helping to reintegrate helping to rehabilitate and after care and follow up as i already told you that as per the new philosophies and concepts of the correctional services these three have already been taken care of but the recent introduction in the changing perspective is basically encouraging people for not only being normal the way society expects but to even go two step beyond and to ask for 
doing something better and good for the society as a whole that is also part of the correctional service these days so students these are some of the important highlights of this particular module thank you very much we'll see you in the next module